So it's already kind of looking like it's got the general form of a head. We just need to add in the specific topological features which will allow us to animate this structure later on. Well, one of the first features I'm going to actually do is the eye. So right now, as you can see, I'm moving these vertices back um, to kind of make a section of four faces which mirror a little bit of what the eye socket would actually be. In a second, you'll see here as well, I'm going to take these uh, faces. I'm actually going to remove them out by extruding first and uh, then producing a new section. Moving these faces forward, these vertices forward to produce the ridge along the front of the nose and also along the cheek. I'm also going to try and get these lines to sync up a little bit more with the mouth quickly. But here we go. Pinch this a little bit in together by the nose. And uh, there we go. These four faces here, let's take these and uh, let's extrude them to produce some better results. Um, just make sure these vertices are in the correct spot first. And uh, I don't know, it just takes a while to find that exact spot that you need. So switch to the face component mode, grab those faces that I was talking about. And uh, then we'll get the extrude the selected component feature and uh, extrude these inwards. There it is. Now I'll switch to the scale tool and scale that all the way into the eyes. And from the front ortho view, I'm now going to enter the vertex component mode and uh, retrace this along the edge of the eye. Once I have these in place, uh, we'll take a look at how it works from the side view and make sure that the two views are corresponding together. And as you can see, they're not exact, uh, but we can fudge it around a little bit if needed. I also want to pull these back along the edge, and eventually this um, upper eyelid fold, we're going to want overhanging slightly over the lower eye, and we'll look at that as we extrude out some more features later. We're now kind of on a step where we're looking very specifically at the eye. We're done working with the whole head. and Building the eyes, I kind of consider the third step of this process. The first was making the box. The second was shaping it to the skull. And the third step here, as you see, is uh, getting these eyes in place. Now is also a good time to save out your file. I'm going to be doing this temporarily, just hitting Control-S, just so I don't lose my progress. Uh, you'll also notice that from time to time I come in and will be softening out my normals to get rid of the hard edges from the extrusions and also deleting my history, um, just to make sure that my history is not piling up and I don't have a whole list of inputs. I'll move these back to again try and define out that brow ridge a little bit more exactly with those uh, orthos. And again these orthos um, come from 3D.SK and it can be downloaded um, with a membership. And um, again the skull comes from highend3D.com. What you can see now is before I put this um, eye together, I, I really feel I need to get an eyeball. So I've made a NURB sphere, and uh, I'm going to scale it and put it into place to work with my polygon model, uh, which I'm, of course, currently box modeling. I'm going to put this in place right in the eye, and I like to rotate it forward so it kind of works like a target along the center of the pupil. And I'll just position this into place, and uh, it'll give me a really good sort of heads up as to what I need to do to get around this eyeball. So I'll fudge it around just a little bit, and now I can see what's poking out here. I'll jump into wireframe view quickly just to move that around. There we go. That's about as close as I can get, and I might need to add a little bit more geometry to this model in a bit to get that working a little bit better. But again, this is just looking at how to build a basic head and how to get the base topology in. See these points here? I don't want to be able to see back into the eye, so I'm going to push these around to conform them to the shape of that eyeball. Next step is I'm going to use the Select Border Edge tool. Double click on this whole border edge. As you can see, it lights up this whole section. And now I'll be able to extrude this in directly into the eye. That'll kind of seal off any, uh, any openings that we had had.
Using the Insert Edge Loop tool now, I'm able to expand out a couple of edge loops, push this back in to form a crease for the upper eyelid edge, and I'll push down as well so that uh, my upper eyelid, which is going to be a little bit more defined on the top, is a little bit less defined on the bottom. So I'm going to get rid of this crease by just pushing those points down here along the bottom edge. I don't want that to be as harsh. I don't want the eyes to seem very puffy. One of the things about the eyes as you're working with them is you've got to make sure that the uh, inside part of the eye, the part closer to the nose, is higher um, than uh, it would be towards the middle line. Uh, and that the part further away from the eye on the low side is the uh, lowest that it goes. And so you don't have a perfectly symmetrical football shape. One of the things I like to do as well as I continue to build this uh, upper eyelid and lower eyelid is that I want to make sure that in this corner that I'm starting to get in a little bit of an overhang on these points because the upper eyelid actually does overhang that lower eyelid just a little bit. I'm going to add yet a third edge loop onto this. And now I'll really start to be able to get this overhang happening. I'll go and pinch this back in a little bit. Now it's really going to start working. Now my eyes do kind of puff out a little bit too much towards the sides, but we can take care of that later. One more edge loop here to help define that cavity, and uh, I think we're pretty good. Move around some of these vertices, make sure we got the depth coming from the um, upper eye, uh, eyebrow area. And um, we'll soften our normals here in just a second. There we go. Looking pretty good. And uh, we've now been able to uh, complete the eye. In this next section, we're going to look at uh, manipulating uh, the faces along the mouth. Uh, and we'll start here by pushing around the nose a little bit. But uh, I really want to take a look here at the mouth um, so that we can get similar edge loop functionality built.